Hi everyone, today we're going to do a quick refresh on how to use Mealtime. From the sign-in screen, go to POS console, then click Launch POS. There you will select your serving site and the meal you plan to serve. You don't need the on-screen keyboard for a laptop and hit continue. From here, select the meal you plan to serve. Then head to the search bar by clicking the search button. You can now search the student by their name or by their PIN number. You can see that Jack is now queued up, but nothing's happened. No customers are in queue and no one's been served. This is a common issue and it's because speed mode is not turned on. When you're opening your POS, be sure to always click the on button for speed mode. This is what allows students to be served automatically. Once we click the on button, we can now see that Jack has moved to the customer serve section. Let's try this again. Click the search button to search for a student. You can enter either the first three letters of their first or last name or their PIN number. We're selecting Ryan. He's now queued up and was served automatically with speed mode on. Let's try this one more time. Search a student by name and select them to serve a meal. Uh-oh, this student has a diet restriction. You'll know this because you'll hear a noise and you'll see an alert pop up on your menu. Make sure the meal they are served is safe to eat. Now let's look at our queue. We can see that we've served a total of three students. Let's try this again. Select lunch, turn speed mode on, but this time we'll let the student enter a pin. See the line one pin number entered up top? You can see the meal was served automatically because speed mode was on. What if a student tries to come through your line a second time? Let's search Ryan. We see a green check by his name, so we know he's already been served once. If we try to serve him again, it considers it a second meal and we'll have to actually add money in for payment. In mealtime, you are allowed to serve both a breakfast and lunch at the same time. This might be useful if you're serving meal kits. Let's try this again. We'll search for Margot. We'll then serve her a meal. It served automatically because speed mode was on. But what if we didn't mean to do that? If we click the little no sign, we can void the transaction. Simple as that. We're now ready to close out of the point of sale. Go to sign out. When you're exiting the POS, you can count the till. Since we're not collecting cash, we can just leave everything as zero. You started with zero dollars and you can end with zero as well. Enter a zero left in till and hit save. Now you've closed the till. Next, let's run our end of day reports. Go to daily operation summary under the reports tab. You just need to leave the top check mark checked. Everything else can be unchecked. This will show you how many eligible students and how many meals you serve today. Print this report and put it in your meal binder. Under the reports tab in mealtime, you can also print out a customer barcode roster or a customer meal roster. These are great for helping students both learn their PIN numbers and helping them scan their barcodes as they go through the line. Print this out on cardstock, adhesive paper, or just regular paper. Those are the basics. You're ready for your first day. Good luck. Mm -hmm.